Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all good today. So someone has requested a look using an old palette and today I'm gonna to be using the iHeart Revolution Mini Chocolate Palette. I don't have the big version, but I've had this in my collection for a very long time. I had it when it first came out with the Mini Mint Chocolate Bar as well. So yeah, we're gonna do a classic autumn look today with these simple Autumn shades, I'd say. Like I said, it's been so long since I've been in this palette. It's gotta be like coming on to four years or something. It's such a little fun palette though. You got some nice shades in there. It's got a nice amount of mattes and shimmers. Well, you got two shimmers and all the rest of mattes, which is absolutely fab because normally I thought Revolution are heavily shimmered. I'm just gonna do the usual, get ready with me, use some makeup, just play with some makeup and a perfect excuse to use this palette. But yeah, if you're interested to see how this makeup turns out, because I have no idea today, then carry watching, hit subscribe, and yeah, let's go. Okay, so primer, I'm feeling bougie. I'm going in the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. I remember I got this, I think it was last year, in one of the Charlotte Tilbury's, um, mystery boxes and I, I just need to use it because it's basically wasting away <laughs> and I just fancy using something bougie and I also want to test this primer out see if it's night out proof but I'm not going anywhere so that defeats the object I'm going to change my method of brows see if it makes such a difference. I am going to use the Pink Honey because this is my new fave. I think I prefer it over the ABH Brow Freeze Wax. But I'm going to go in the ABH Dow Brick Brow. I keep saying that wrong. ABH Brow Dip Brow Shade Taupe. But I'm going to go in this at first because normally I do it the other way around. Still on the ABH Dip Brow Hype. Like, I still love it. No one really talks about it now, but I still like it. Uh, my brows are hardly brows there's hardly anything there so we'll just try and see what we can work with i normally go in with a pencil uh, around the front but i really don't want to use my pencil at the minute because i'm trying to save it um for when i go out because i've nearly run out of it so i'm trying to like just just saving it basically okay that is all i'm going to do to my brows i will just brush it out slightly and then I'm gonna use the pink honey so my friend advised me to wet it from the tub so I'm just gonna do that this is just a spray from was it from Primark and then use it like this it smells incredible I feel like that's worked okay. Right, let's get onto the eyes. So, ABH, no, Beauty Bay Eye Base. I've got shade number three. Okay, so mini chocolate orange. Here we go. I have no idea what kind of look to do. Hmm. I'm gonna start off with this orange shade here. Let's just throw that everywhere onto the lid. Forgot how pigmented these are. Um, I've literally can't remember. Ooh. That packs on straight away. Nice. love orange tones at the minute especially for this season giving me pumpkin vibes <gasps> pumpkin yes this could be a pumpkin inspired well it's not really inspired is it? it's just tones and i'm thinking we should go into a, like this ruddy tone color here let's do that i'm gonna put it on the inner corner and outer corner Ooh. It's like a fiery burnt look. Yes, I'm liking that red. Let's see if we can make this look more darker. So I'm going to use this shade here. I don't want to use too much of it, but I just want to see what we're working with. Let me just apply it on there. Okay, that's 
made it slightly more darker what I was hoping for. Okay, so for this look, I could go with a shimmer in the middle, which I probably will do, but literally any shimmer would go with this look. The yellow would go and that would also look good. I'm thinking of just going straight with the yellow. Take it on my finger and just see how it works without having to put concealer down. And go with the yellow. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to use this shimmer on the inner corner and on the brow bone. It's nice. Yeah. And that works nice on the brow bone too. Yeah. I like that. I'm gonna add more in the own corner because I really like that. So you could go with a nude eyeliner, but I just always seem to put on black eyeliner pencil. I don't know why, I just always seem to. Blend it out with a brush. So it gives me a bit more shape. Okay, so another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this shade here and I kind of want to like just put that on the inner corner slightly so my my foundation is so boring I don't do anything different I use the same foundations all the time um but today I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris True Match because I'm quite pale um but I always mix it in with the CRT London Extraordinary Foundation Shade Silk Concealer, I'm gonna use, hmm, what should I use? I've got Too Faced, Born This Way in the shade Swan. Um, I don't wanna put a lot on. This is so full coverage, this concealer is like, what the hell? I need a sponge. <laughs> Powder, I'm gonna go my Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder. Okay, so for my contour, I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Chocolate Contour. I need to compare this. So my favorite bronzer at the minute is the Mega Bronzer from Revolution. I just need to compare two different sides because I'm trying to work out if this is too dark for me. It's so lightly darker that is. Let's just give it a go. So I'm gonna go with this one first. And then I'm just gonna wipe my brush and I'm gonna go into this. I feel like this side's a lot more smoother and I just think it, like that just looks harsh. I think I've come to a conclusion that this is too dark for me. Um, maybe if I was slightly more tanned but I think I'm just going to stick with this because I can just build it up. I don't need to be careful with it. Well, I'm glad I've sussed that out because I'd love to know if you've got this, the chocolate caviar. Is this too dark for you? It's too dark for me. Maybe if I need to use it when I'm a bit tanned, but no. I'm never tanned though. That's the thing. On my face, I'm just never tanned. Um, Yeah. This, this is my favourite, get this. <laughs> so for blush, I'm gonna use these two uh, just to compare, see what we are. 
Lysa Peach L'Oreal, this side, and May Beauty Blush on this side. I just want to know what's my fave at the minute. Lysa Peach L'Oreal. This blush is so good. Love that. Now, May blush, slightly more expensive, but it's a similar effect, but I think it's just more pigmented. I feel like the May blush is more matte than the L'Oreal Paris, so if you want a bit of a shimmer, go for the side. Personally, I like both sides. It's just different effects of what you want. Really like coral blushes. Okay, for highlighter, I don't know why this has ended up in comparison. I don't know. I'm gonna use the Disney Snow White highlighter on this side and the Doll Beauty like a highlighter. No, like a diamond on this side. So Snow White, this is very icy. Yeah. Okay. Wipe my brush a bit and then Doll Beauty. This is stunning. How nice is that? I think I'll use this. Um, you know what? They're both very nice highlighters. I feel like the Doll Beauty one is more icy than the Snow White. Either way, I think they're both nice. So for lips, I'm gonna go with this Beauty Bay. This is in the shade Whip. I don't know if this is gonna go. Hmm, could do. So, I'm thinking of going into this one. This is the Tasty Marshmallow Hot Chocolate. Let's give this a whirl. Okay, so we're near enough done. I am going to apply some mascara. I'm going to use the Tasty Watermelon Mascara um, from I Heart Revolution. I'm not going to do any lashes because I'm going to go on a dog walk after this and... I can't be bothered with lashes right now. But this mascara, I really do enjoy. So here is the completed Eye makeup using the mini chocolate orange palette and yeah still works like how I thought it did back in the day um, my opinions haven't really changed on it if I had to say something about the palette I wish this yellow shimmer was less chalky and it was more of like a proper soft juicy shimmer but it is still nice on the eyes um it's just quite subtle i can't think anything else i think it's such a good little palette you've got plenty of mattes to play with yeah i really like this primer that i used at the start i thought it gave my foundation a nice um sort of glow however i have realized doing this get ready with me i think i need to stop using this it's just too dark chocolate caviar i've used this many many times and i think i've just come to the conclusion that it is too dark that revolution mega bronzer works a lot nicer it applied on a lot smoother on this side be very light hand if you do have this because yeah you could put it into the crease but i've just got so many sh eyeshadows that can do that to put through the crease like for example i absolutely been loving the i Heart revolution disney snow white my favourite shade to put in the crease is Dark. Absolutely love this. This is probably going to be in my September, no, October favourites because I can't stop using this. It's such a good palette for work. I'm going off a tangent here. It's like nothing to do with this video, but I prefer this over the big palette. So yeah, if you want a similar vibe to this kind of makeup and you can't get the chocolate mini orange, probably get this palette because I feel like the 
pigment in this is a lot better. Absolutely love that Doll Beauty highlighter, what I used. Um, I feel like the Snow White highlighter is nice as well. I prefer the Snow White highlighter more than the Sleeping Beauty one. But yeah, I'm going to leave my video there today. I hope you enjoyed this. Get ready with me. It was such a random one. I just really wanted to play with the chocolate orange, especially for someone who requested this. So yeah, it was time to get this out again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit subscribe down below and turn the notification bell on so that way you'll be notified every single time that I upload. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the upcoming weeks are for iHeart Revolution in particular because I hear there's been a teaser that ALF is coming with a collaboration with I Heart Revolution. So that should be exciting. I'm not gonna get everything from the collection. I'm just gonna try to get one thing and sporadically buy more from the collection throughout the year maybe. I haven't made my mind up, but I will definitely get one thing from the collection, a palette or whatnot, um, something that I can test out. I'm very excited for that. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I hope you have a lovely day, night or time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.